Hi. So in this session, I want to write code for printing keypad combinations. Okay. Let's jump into code. We have already seen how we are planning to do it. So let's quickly jump into code. So in this file, I have already written this function that we have written earlier as well. So get options, get string corresponding to a single digit. Okay. So the plan is that we will have print keypad. So we'll get a number and we will get output so far. Right. So we'll get output so far. And as we discussed, if n is zero, that means we have reached the base case. Output so far is one of the options that we were looking for and we will return. Otherwise, we need to find the small number. Small number is n by 10. And last digit is n percentage 10. Right? Last digit is n percentage 10. So if I have 234, this is 23 right now and this is 4 right now. So what will we do? We will basically, we need to call recursion as per the number of options I have for 4. So let's find the options for 4. Options for last digit. That will be get string. We will call it on last digit. Right? And now, and now, what you need to do is if last digit options let's say are ghi you need to go through this string first pick up this one and call recursion by appending this to the output so far right so this was 234 you had empty output so far so you'll call on 23 in the empty output you will append g then you will call on 23 and in the empty output you will append h then you will call on 23 and in the empty output you will append I. Right, that's what you need to do. So, for C in options for last digit, what we need to do is our output, or you can say new output, is equals to output so far plus C. Right, so I'm looping over GHI. So, my first option is G, second option is H, third option is I. So, I'm creating the new output corresponding to each of them. And I'll simply call print keypad on small number with this new output. And that's it. Right? That's it. So what will happen is, while you keep reducing this number, you will eventually reach here corresponding to one combination and you will be able to print it out. Okay? So what will happen is, 234. Let's take example of 23. Initially, you will be passed empty string. So, you will take a decision corresponding to 3. So, we will call 2 comma D, 2 comma E, 2 comma F. Then you will take a decision corresponding to and you will make this recursive call one after the other. So, you will reach here only when this is done. So, this is a call that you will make but right now you have made only one call. Once you have made this call, now you will take a decision on 2. 2 is a, b, c. So, 0 comma d. So, this seems like a problem, right? So, you should not attach a after d, you should attach it before d. So, while we are doing the dry run, we just saw it should be c plus output so far, right? c has to be in front. Because we are taking digits from the end, whatever is coming has to be appended to the front. So, we need to, so we got A, A has to be not appended to the end, but to the beginning. So, AD and as soon as you reach here, this is your base case, you will print AD first and then you will call to the second option for 2 is B. So, you will call on BD, so you will get printed BD and then you will basically uh, call it on CD, then CD will get printed and so on. That's how all the combinations will get printed. Okay, let's see if this actually works. Print keypad to 34 and initially I'm passing it an empty string because that's the output so far. And you have all possible combinations. It would be easier to see it with 23. 
looks like exactly what we wanted and we are able to print all the combinations right so what's happening is you have 23 so first you made a decision on 3 so and you called corresponding to d so everything with d is getting printed first and once you're done with d then you made a call for e so that's why everything from e is getting printed after that in the end you made a call corresponding to f and that's why everything with f is getting printed at the end right so that's how things are working okay again if you are not able to write the code before looking at this uh, video then please write the code uh, yourself and then dry run with few more examples which will make things very very clear you have some problems like these in the assignments please give them a try they are very very uh, they are very similar to the way we have done it they might be a little tweak here and there but they are very similar the concept is very similar so you should be able to do them but they will require some effort from your side right you will have to put in some extra effort to complete this assignment so please do that you will feel really good about recursion once you complete this assignment so i would definitely recommend you to spend as much time as possible in completing this assignment thank you